Hello there, my good friends of YouTube. Well, I've made myself a ozone generator. I've actually, well, I know I've made um, a few of them before, a couple of them before, but this one is pretty cool. It's just a little um, circuit that I found at the scrapyard some time ago, about two two months ago, I think, something like that. And uh, what this is is a bulb out, uh, a neon bulb out of a um, strip light starter. And you can see it's just glowing there. Let's see if we can get a nice close up of it. And I'll put a bit of um, mesh around it, gauze, whatever you want to call it. There we go, nice, nice uh, focusing. You can see it just glowing just there, and you may be able to hear it. Let's see if I can get the microphone down there. Can you hear that? I don't know if you can hear it or not. I'll have to watch the video back and uh, have a look. Come on, see if we can z focus in right there. Yeah, it doesn't want to focus in. I think it's too close for it. That's so annoying. There we go. So yeah, it's uh, it works pretty well. I did do a where is that other one? I did do a other one somewhere. You can actually use a um, high voltage module out of a LCD screen, an old a LCD screen. You could actually use something like that to uh, to make a, an ozone generator. Oh, sorry guys, I was upside down there. Well, yeah, this is um, out of a LCD screen that. Uh, basically um, powers the, the the bat light it's high voltage gives out between 4 and 6 kV some of these do and it just splits off the uh, the 6 kV to uh, to two bulbs or to two little um, strip bulbs or uh, to one depending on the driver this is a driver that's out of um, one of those little plasma globes but it was the the flat ones which you could um, you know like add little lightning on it when you touched it and this is what driven that and you could even use something like that to make an ozone generator there's another these are very very similar ones these are very very similar design this is what I did to that bulb to make a large um, ozone generator This was me, other ozone generator, what uh, John High Voltage Projects gave me. But unfortunately, the the, uh, the transistors died in it, and just uh, overheated. It was only 250 milliamps. Some of them you can get up to about 400, 500 milliamps, I think, some of them. So they uh, they do last a little bit longer. But the, uh, the one that was in there, it just cooked it. This is the one that was in there. I don't know if you can see the number on there. There you go, on D1616A. It's a shame, really. They, they, they make these with such cheap components. So you could use something like that to power your uh, ozone generators. This is out of this is the one I found at the scrapyard, out of a boiler. These are a really nice little tiny one you can use. That's the input. And that's the output. So yeah, I thought I'd share that with you guys. Let you know what I've been doing. I can't really fix this one at the minute until I get me components when I, I finally move. Which is going to look into be next week. Next weekend hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, it, it, uh, it works quite well this does. I wish I could find a bloody phone though that uh, focused in automatically though. God, it's so annoying. Come on. There we go. I can smell the ozone. It gives off a hell of a lot of ozone.
There's nothing like drawing an arc. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this has got it's um, it's got it's actually got a pretty good board on this one. It's a nice uh, nice winding of transformer just there, high voltage transformer, and there's a little NPN transistor on there, and then a, a larger MOSFET. But the MOSFET does not give out enough power where it's going to kill this driver. But, uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's pretty simple. Simple circuit. I thought I'd share that with you anyway, guys. I'm not going to take up any more of your time. Thank you very much for watching. Look after yourselves. I hope you liked me last. Uh, hope you liked me uh, latest scrapyard video that I did. Um, as I was pausing the video halfway through when I was going to do the part of the uh, the uh, scra scrapyard. Um, so yeah, as I was going out to the other side of the video, uh, to the other side of the uh, warehouse, uh, scrapyard, uh, I'd pause the video. So when I actually recorded again, I'd turn the phone upside down the other way. So the, for the rest of the bloody uh, scrapyard tour, everything was upside down. So I had to put it through bloody Sony Vegas and try and sort the video out, and tried to do some uh, some subtitles on the, you know through the video, and that completely looked wrong, and it was stretched and missed out some of the words. And underneath high one voltage one rules, I tried to put high voltage projects, and it missed that out as well. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a, uh, a you know blooper that uh, video, and uh, I did try and manage to sort it out. So, but I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a nice, uh, just over a half an hour, um, and unfortunately the video cut short at that um, Mercedes because uh, I'd run out of space on my SD card. 6 gig to upload that bloody video. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. Look after yourselves. Be safe. Speak again.